Hey everyone, Chris Meets here with Anywhere POD. Today I wanted to take a look at how you can configure additional country suppliers. This is a feature that can really boost international sales because you're able to select uh, different suppliers based on the ship to country of an order that is placed. So your buyers can really save on the shipping costs as well as the shipping timeframes. So I'll walk you through a couple examples here on how to set that up. Um, so we have this product that we just created. We're going to scroll down here to the bottom uh, where it says add country supplier. So we have our one default supplier here that uh, we have in the system from when we uh, originally created this product. And we're just going to click here to add additional suppliers. And in this case, we're in a 11 ounce white coffee mug. Uh, if for some reason you needed to change the category to find the product or supplier you're looking for, uh, you can always browse our entire catalog here and you'll see here at the top you're still going to be selecting uh, additional suppliers for this specific product in this case we're just going to scroll down to another supplier that offers an 11 ounce coffee mug so we're going to select that and you can see there's a couple suppliers here that offer this product uh, shipping from uh, additional locations so we're going to be able to save on our shipping costs quite a bit uh, especially here, it looks like they have a facility in the Czech Republic as well as the uh, UK. So our European countries even are going to be covered at a much cheaper rate than what our default supplier pricing would be. This will also allow you in some cases to save on the base price of the product um, because some international sellers may have a cheaper base price. Uh, but it doesn't make sense always to have that as your default or U.S. supplier. Uh, because shipping prices can be uh, quite a bit more. But if you're shipping internationally, uh, you're able to save, you know, not only the customer save on shipping, uh, but sometimes you're also able to save on that base price of that product as well. So we're going to go ahead and select this supplier. And then here you can come down and select what countries you want to ship from this supplier. So in this case, we're going to select the United Kingdom. Uh, we're also going to do our European countries, and you can select the entire European Union here. And then we're also going to select the Czech Republic for this supplier. Uh, in this case, we don't have any additional colors to map. If we were doing a t-shirt that had multiple colors, uh, we, could, we could map this and make sure that we're selecting all of the correct colors for our t-shirts. Um, or if we were doing colored mugs, for example. Uh, in this case, we're just going to leave, uh, leave that alone because we don't have any additional colors. Uh, you have an option down here to re remove sizes not available. Uh, so if a supplier does not have a specific size available, uh, this option allows that uh, size to be removed um, so that your shipping rates are consistent and we're removing the items that aren't available from all suppliers. So we'll just submit that one. And if you scroll back down here at the bottom now, you see that we have our new supplier set up for specific countries here. Now we're also going to go back and select the third supplier. Uh, I saw one in there that shipped from Australia as well. So we'll go through and do that. And if we scroll back down here, we'll see we've got our three suppliers set up. So the way this is going to work is any of the countries listed for our default supplier uh, will be automatically added to the shipping profile when we push this over to Etsy. Um, and then our additional suppliers here will take over for uh, these additional countries that we have listed. So if we come up here and we create this product in Etsy. And now if we just go in and view this product, we can scroll down to the bottom here and take a look at our shipping profile. And you'll see that our default shipping provider is set up for countries that will be shipping um, from that default provider with the correct uh, time frames. And you can see here's one of our additional suppliers with a shorter time frame. And we have all of our countries and suppliers automatically set up uh, to match each one of the suppliers that we had selected. If you guys have any question on this feature or any others, feel free to send us an email at support at anywherepod.com.